Hello Techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about Automation Anywhere real-time project. And this is a scenario of Make My Trip. I hope you have watched the first part of the Make My Trip scenario. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you about Automation Anywhere and AI related steps. So directly we will go to the scenario. We have completed in part one till click on the flight icon and click on the one way right so next part is we have to select from and to destination like cities we have to select and we have to click on the dynamic calendar that is a part which is very important for the developer because we have to select the relative x path and we have to click on the search and we have to extract the data so that is very important part so don't skip the video please watch till the end and hit the like button and comment on the video that will give the motivation to me so i can make more and more videos like this so which is important okay please 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 hit the like button now only okay so directly we will go to our website and we will see what is the next step very important thing is we have to type the from and to. So here one more issue we will face it. That is the thing. That is the one. So if I click on the from, okay, if I write Delhi, okay, D E L I will I write, okay, I will write full name D E L H I, okay. So I want to travel from Delhi to Kolkata. So then what I will do in the from I am writing a Delhi, and if I'm hitting the enter or hitting the tab. The same Bengaluru is appearing. Why? So it will not take the value directly. So whenever you want to take the new value, if you want to take the new value, so then we have to take the ELHI in the suggestion, whatever it will come for that down arrow, enter, or you can click the first one. Both you can do. Okay, I am doing down arrow and enter. So now it is appearing New Delhi right this is very important we have to develop in automation okay how we can do the first thing is we have to take that particular word or particular object of from so in the flight booking universal recorder i'm taking new delhi this is the city name i'm taking not a from or not a del so i'm just taking the city name after your uh, Universal recorder is ready like this. You can just hover the mouse and wait till the red box will come. Okay, just click and wait for some time and click on the finish. So you will get a okay. okay it's not appeared. So just I will take again. Take flight booking universal recorder and click on new delhi okay fine so you can write it here so that is very important one thing so just i am writing bengaluru okay and just i am finishing so now we will get exactly the recording see now we have got two recording one of them we can take it so this is the one which is not required the first one is very much important because if you see it here so this is exactly we will call it as relative x path right we will have an input id from city everything so this is very much important and i need to just set the value right we have to set the value what is the value i need to set it the first thing is from a uh, excel sheet the first column we have a from if you watch the first part of the video you will get to know in the first column right so for that what i will do i will take the variable of excel row which is already taken from the loop by index i am taking the zeroth index because our first row of the excel will start from the zeroth index right so that's why i am taking excel row zero and i am giving a delay of 100 milliseconds so that is very important because this particular website is very much slow and after that what we have to do as i told whenever you will type the value you have to click on 
down arrow and enter this is very much important down arrow enter okay for that what i will do i will take a keystroke simulate keystroke drag and drop so here you can take the browser okay flight booking flight ticket that is a browser we want to take it and enter the keystroke what is the keystroke i need to use it down arrow you can see here up arrow down arrow right arrow left arrow everything so down arrow and enter and make sure you are giving at least 100 millisecond delay because that is very much important and before that we have to add some default delay because whenever the suggestion will come that is that will come from the server side right database side from the database uh, that will take some time to fetch the data right so if the city is very um, like uh, suggestion is very difficult like if you write ban it it may be bengal or it may be bengaluru right so that's why it is very important we have to give some delay between the keystrokes so that's why i will give two second delay that is enough make my trip is very good uh, website so definitely they wrote a logic like that it will fetch the data within a two seconds or three seconds that's not a problem so next thing is from city is completed we have to take the two city right from is completed we have to take the two city for that also same thing i am taking a recording same way i will take flight booking universal recorder just i will wait for some time click on the kolkata after the kolkata i will write maybe goa right so just i will type a goa and finish it right so i will wait for some time you can try yourself that is the best way to practice okay once completely watch then you can understand better then you try one by one step with watching of my video okay you will get to know exactly everything from basic to advanced level of automation anywhere from this one particular exercise okay so set text is there instead of goa i need to take the value from excel correct excel row of index 2 sorry 1 0 is a index from 1 is a index 2 so now same thing after that i need to add a delay of 2 seconds and hit the down arrow and enter the same thing i have copied and pasted in between this so what is the next thing next thing is a date we have to click on this date departure and we have to select the calendar right this is the very 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 toughest part of this particular website and this is very important part also if you go with any interview with this scenario if you complete this particular section definitely they will hire i'm 100 percent sure because this is very much important as a rpa developer automation developer okay so directly we will see how it will work so till that how the bot will work we will see just i will close this window and i will try to run it so now what our activity is done so our bot is opening the website then it is click on the flight section then it will click on the one way round because there is a, so many options round trip or multiple flights everything is available right based on your scenario you can take it any one of the uh, section but in this particular scenario i am taking one way okay so that's why i am make sure that i am clicking on one way okay so after that from and to this is very much important in the from we have to make sure uh, use the delay and we have to use the down arrow and enter otherwise our bot will not uh, type particular city which is from uh, maybe our uh, excel sheet so now it is typing bengaluru then entering down arrow and hitting the enter maybe you have observed that one right so now sticking a keystroke kolkata yeah superb so this is the thing we have done so now the next thing is actually okay, it's clicking on the next one delhi we'll see this one also 
okay kolkata fine so it is taking correctly so now we'll just see here zero here i have given zero second it is it should be 100 second that's why it is taken very speed i don't want to uh, show you in a very speed manner okay two cities should be 100 second so now a select date how we can select the date so which is very important the first thing is we have to click on this departure right this is very important so for that what i will use i will use the recorder and i'm taking flight booking universal recorder and just i'm waiting for okay it's ready it's still okay one second i need to click on this fine 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 see very much dynamic this one if you observe so it will not give you to click also okay i'm taking full particular box okay full box i'm taking we will see it will work or not just click on the finish just manually i'm trying if i click on the box yes it is working fine so now i will wait for recording action okay here if you see this is uh we no need to change anything because only one button is there right to click on uh, calendar but next thing is very important based on our values if you see in our uh, just i wanted to show make my trip in our excel sheet so we have a two data like this we may have a hundred data right this hundred data should have the data like this date like this depending on this date see this is a november 21st this is a january 2023 it's totally a different year how we can get particularly that calendar if you see it in the website we will get only two months from october november if you click here it will give you november december december january like this two months data it will give right how we can write the how we can type the data here so unfortunately we don't have any typing facility here so we have to click and we have to select this is the only way we can automate it right so that's why it is very very important so if you automate this particular calendar definitely you will be win so first we will record it any one of the date then you will get to know what is the challenge here so i'm just taking the universal recorder and i will take this 11 okay january 11 just i'm finishing if you observe okay if you if you observe here in the recording object here we don't have anywhere the date facility correct date how we can set it so that is very much important thing in this scenario we can't do anything with only automation anywhere recorder okay we have to use a different technique that we will call it as xpath technique the max path yeah absolutely right so how we can do so right click on particular object and inspect it so i hope you know about the relative x path and absolute x path so if you are not aware please type it in the google relative x path and absolute x path you will get to know detailly otherwise just comment it on the video if you need a particular detailed video i can make it for you but if you type the comment section then only so i will get the motivation right if you hit the like and type it in the comment if you need any details so i will make a video for that okay so we will directly see how we can write a relative expert for this one i will not recommend you absolute expert because which is very difficult to write it so i will recommend you relative expert which is very easy to write okay how we can write it just control f first we have to do control f you can see it here find by string and selector xpath so this is very much important which is available in all the browsers okay the first thing is if you see here we have a date picker okay class is day and what is the date this is area label we will try to take it this one okay class 
why we have to take it that is very much important i want to show you that one also one second i can show you by this type okay example okay here also it is very difficult okay what we can do just i will click here and i will take this one <clears throat> yeah so now what happened superb so just i will drag nice so nicely it is come now so now i want to take example this particular 17 okay just click on this select element and go to 17 and click here <coughs> if you see here you you can observe class is day picker it is highlighting right date inner cell like this so this is very much important how to find the element in the selection selector because if you click on this one it will highlight i will show you if you write it like this class day picker day you can see at the last maybe it is showing you okay so i will do like this double slash this is a writing of uh, element okay x path so this is very much important how we can write it so you can get to know by the google or if you want to uh, know more about this one please comment on the video so i will make a separate video for this x path itself so now we have got a day see but it is a multiple times so 58 times it is showing means here we have a 31 and 28 days right so all this data if you combine it is almost 58 days right so that's why 58 object it is finding but we need a unique date unique date how we can select from the area label if you see here just i'm copying that one okay just i'm copying area label copy and same way bracket at so this is very much important bracket bracket and at see now now this is a unique value we got it from the selector x path relative x path right but i don't want to fail my relative x path that's why uh, uh, reversal of classes we have to take it like what is the before the class in a class in a class like nested class will be there right so that we have to find it how we can find it so just i don't want to see in this particular way okay so this is the way which is good all the selectors we, we can see see here we have a day picker so before that we have a day picker week this is very much important reversal of x path okay just i am taking after this slash slash so just i am adding another bracket it is very important after that bracket close slash so this is a second way after a week what will come month right so first is a day after week after a month after a year so month date picker also we have inside that only we have these all selectors so that's why i will take this class also particularly so this is a traversal okay xpath travel so now again i will take a at it is not appeared and after the month i'm just taking like this star okay so now i have got month i have got week and i have got almost a day so all three concepts and check again any year class are there if you check it here we don't have any year class we have till <coughs> year day picker right after that rate so there is no year concept no problem we have a three things which is very much important thing so we have it so just i will copy and paste it here you can see now so we have a month we have a week we have a, a day concept if you confuse please watch again this particular scenario you will get to know what exactly the x path is okay how we can write it just i will copy this one and i will go to my workbench particularly in this part i will remove all the properties okay which is not required in the automation anyway because this will not work for us 
So that's why I will remove all the property except the domex path. In the domex path, I am clearing old one and I'm entering the new one. But here, one more thing we have to observe. Here we have a Monday, January to 2023. But I need a date from the Excel sheet, right? That is very much important. So that's why I, what I will do, I will remove this one. Just I'm removing. So where exactly we have a date in the Excel? In the Excel, we have a date in C column, means second, second index, right? So inside this, I will click F2 from the Excel row by index, second index, I am inserting. You see now, just I will copy and I will show you in the notepad how it will look a new X path. See, so difference is everything is same only in area level. I'm inserting a variable, right? I need to make it dynamic. So this is a dynamic X path concept. If you do this one, definitely you will hire by interviewer so that is very much important so don't skip so like this we have a other concept also in the upcoming uh, time so that's why please don't skip the video till the end please watch it and for this concept please hit the like and please comment that will motivate me and i can make more and more videos like this okay now we have clicked on particularly date right so date is done. So now just I'm closing. Okay. And just I want to, to take October. Okay. So now after that, we have to click on the search. So when we take the from to and departure, then we have to click on the search. That is the next thing. So this part is completed, right? Select date. So next thing is we have a click on the search. I'm just expanding this step. And inside this one, I will take a recording this is very important so just flight booking and wait for ready search click on the search and finish it click on the finish so you will get particularly that action in the click search option so this is no need to do anything because only one is there no dynamic things only one button so everything is fine. So now extract a low price and flight detail. Yeah, I, I need to extract the low price and flight detail from this particular window, right? So here, if you observe, so flights tickets are 8,684, 9,000. Again, uh, here, if you see 9,200, 9,700, right? Everything, if you see it here, so almost you will get uh, flights which is yeah here if you see price which is uh, lowest only right see so by default you will get lowest price at the first here so this is most important thing so no need to do sort by or anything in this particular website by default you will get it so what i will do i i need to take the particularly first flight from the this particular window so for that in the extract price detail so i will take a recording and uh, this is a make my trip now window name is changed make my trip google chrome universal recorder and here in this scenario they have wrote all the detail of the flight they need it right so i'm not taking any particularly uh, like two or non-stop any, anything only price not not like that so i wanted to take everything so that's why i'm taking whole particular bar and clicking on this one yes and finish so one okay uh, we have to wait for some time okay finish okay we will wait finish yeah so now my recording is finished Okay, we got one thing is search, search is not required. And here we have got particularly the first one, right? So if you observe this one, just check any dynamic. See, this is actually a dynamic one. So I don't want to be use any anything which want I wanted to change right this one I will unselect 
and this I will give you 150 second because it should wait for some time that's why and here maybe it is it will work as expected okay everything is correct and most important thing is we have to check the inner text because there only we will get all the things see log this price indigo new delhi so everything it is available right kolkata view price new new delhi to kolkata so that's why this is very much important just i will remove and make it wild card because every time i no need to get the default in inner text right just i'm copying if you want to click you can click it otherwise just unselect it and here instead of double click i need to get the text get property and which property you want to get it i want to get it a inner text property html inner text and at the last you will see output save i will save in the sample string and as of now i will take in a message box to check it is correctly coming or not right message box drag and drop here i will write sample string okay. so now everything is completed we will see our bot is working or not so just i am running so now we have developed from to and especially date picker which is very important we will see now it, is, it will work or not i need to close this excel also because we are using the excel basic concept that is very much important whenever you will use the uh, excel activity you should close it so which is a proper way of doing the automation in okay now it is started so please make sure hit the like button and give me the more and more scenarios like this because this is scenario is given by one of the subscriber so that, that that's why you are getting this scenario in my youtube channel so which is very important if you have any interview scenarios you come across us in an interview just comment on the video so definitely i will try my level best to give you the exact logic in my youtube so that's why please hit the like button comment on the video and please 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 subscribe to the channel so i will get motivation to do the automation videos right okay now it is clicking on this one <clears throat> okay, it is searching october 24 this is wrong right why it is wrong i will show you i will tell you the first thing is so we have missed one logic here so if you see here in the select date we are clicking on jan that is okay fine so after that we are clicking on day picker so everything is okay but this is having the november december january like that but in the website we will have only two months data if you see okay i will go back okay if you click on this one you will see only two months data if you want a next month data you have to click here right this is very much important for that what we can do we can use the retry mechanism yes retry mechanism how we can use in automation anywhere which is very important in website automation the first thing is we can use the try error handling try and just take the capture action inside the try because first we have to check by default particular object is available in the calendar or not so next thing is if this particular object is not available then we will go to next calendar right that is very much important next calendar is very much important for that inside the catch i will use whenever the try is failed then it will come to the catch right if you are don't know the catch try and catch mechanism please watch it in my youtube channel already it is completed and uploaded in a video section so for this purpose what i will do take the recording if any failure happened in the first time so i need to check the next time right next calendar so that's why i'm taking the recording take book my show universal recorder and click on particularly this arrow 
this is very much important and click on the finish okay finish now okay just check uh, it is coming correctly or not okay it's coming correctly i hope microsoft activity mm -hmm. okay we will see it, it will come correctly or not if it is not coming so we can directly uh, check again so another thing is as i told it, it should be retry mechanism right once it is not available second time i need to check third time i need to, fourth month sixth month or next year so everything should be possible in our particular uh, code for that what i will use loop so how we can do the try and try and catch with a retry so this try and catch i am drag and drop inside the loop and most probably we will check 12 months of data right so that's why i am taking a 12 so 12 times it will retry but every time i no need to retry right so if i find the object i don't want to retry for that purpose so if the 20th row is passed then i am breaking this particular loop i don't want to check again from the loop action right this is very much important after that it will click on the search and it will click on the inner text and it will get the sample string so we will see how it will work now i will run the bot so this try and retry, retry mechanism is very very important so that's why this question is very much popular in interview because if you do this particular scenario by your own definitely 50% of automation anywhere commands and techniques you have learned. So that's why very much important interview perspective and your real time project perspective. If you go to any company, definitely this kind of situation you, you will come across. This. So that's why this is very much important to learn make my trip scenario. So please watch again and again. So you will get to know what are all the tricks we have used to automate this one and what are all the techniques we have to use it like uh, Domex paths, dynamic expats and dynamic windows we have used and how we can select particularly uh, uh, this particular uh, calendar. So that is also very much important. See now November 21st it is selected exactly same thing we have when we want to extract it right see here if you see here lowest price from first thing we have to extract so it is correctly coming or not just i wanted to recheck so 3482 3482 this is the first flight price this particular information we have to capture it in a excel that is a final step of our project right scenario so how we can do that one just i will stop this one i don't want to waste your time so now instead of message box i want to set it in the excel so what we have used in the excel basic we have used if you watch the my first part definitely you will get to know why we are using the excel basic please watch the first part if you are not watched completely don't miss out so now i want to set the cell get 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 so everything is get set cell yeah in the set cell first thing is we have to take session name input and specific cell this is very much important so we have not done till now because this is was not required till now so now we need a counter so that is very much important because each and every data we have to set it right so that's why i'm creating one variable in the number section as a n counter okay which is very important so i'm creating so once it is created we have to set it so i will recommend you whenever you will use the counter please use initialization and also increment that will miss several developers in the development time so which will waste your time right so i am using number action so in the number assign before the loop just i am assigning 
encounter sorry i am assigning first one because my data will start from the two right why i am using the one because after the loop start only i will increment my particular counter one plus n counter now my first loop itself i will get a two from second row my counter will start right that is a very much important thing whenever you will initialize the counter make sure from which column or which row you have to uh, take the counter okay specific cell in which cell i, I need to update in the d column okay f2 counter sometimes it will not come in here so just we have to type it dollar n counter but here it is asking for text why text why not number please watch my all the videos you will get to know so i have explained in every video why we have to write the text instead of number in particularly this cell okay what we have to do in this case this is a number concept so we have to type it two number right two string two string sorry so what is the value i have to write it value is in sample string right we have taken so after that this message box if it is there also not a problem because for demo purpose i will keep it message box so we will get to know how many it is completed so now if you see everything is completed just i will check inside the loop only we have wrote every logic so that is make sure everything should be inside the loop okay now what i will do i will rerun the bot just i'm closing so now from end to end we have developed from browser action like a opening the browser and open the excel sheet and uh, type from end to and select the date from the website and fetch the detail of the lowest price in this particular scenario for lowest price there is no uh, headache because it will come at the first like that they have developed so the most importantly whenever you are a rpa developer you should uh, first learn the application that is most important thing because 80 percent of the time you can save if you learn learned your particular application because we, we have learned now so how this particular website will work right so that is very much important in this scenario so now it is in october okay which will go to november Okay. in 22nd line what is the problem okay we will see once so just i'm stopping in 22nd line just loop 22nd yeah okay the first thing is here instead of left click we have to use a click okay click is very important and i will write 150 seconds because 15 second is not enough to uh, check a particular date in the calendar because that is a dynamic calendar right so which is very important okay and here what i will do i will run again so now we can see end to end And one more thing is this type of website we have to trial and error concept we have to use it in our uh, mind because sometimes uh, whatever we have observed is not correct right whenever we will try again and again we will get to know okay what exactly we have to uh, make a changes in our code and you will get a better code from that so now it is typing bangalore now it is typing goa 
okay right click and it is clicked on November so it will take a time okay it is taken I hope the first one is 21 November yeah it is correct okay now it is extracted just I wanted to cross check it so 3482 so here also we have got 3482 just I'm closing so now it will it is going to the next one the first one is completed right next again it is clicking on the flight and one way instead of Bangalore now it is taking Delhi our second data so it is taking New Delhi so next thing is Kolkata now we are checking New Delhi to Kolkata right so it is taking exactly correct so now so now I hope we are checking the January date so now our bot should wait till the January comes into the picture so first time it will fail and second time it will retry it so that's why we have used the retry mechanism if you observe so now we have a November and December but we have a data of January we have to check the January uh, 3rd uh, yeah January 3rd date so that's why which is very important to get the next calendar year for that it was waiting for some time and it is checking okay okay oh, we are checking Jan 30 sorry not January 3 okay Jan 30 we are checking so now it is coming 6994 just I'm checking it's correct or not okay 6998 yeah exactly it is correct the first one is price is lowest 6998 so just I'm closing from New Delhi to Kolkata so now our bot is completed if you see here run successfully completed so we will go and check our output what exactly we got see now both the data we have got first thing is November 21st if you observe it is correctly it is coming and the second thing is January 30 that is also correctly it is taken and we have got the data just I will make a merge so we will get to know here so if you see the data is exactly what we have required everything we have got it in the Excel so this is the complete automation of our make my trip website so if you have any question please comment on the video I will try to resolve your issues or any logical uh, issues in your uh, if you are trying to make this particular uh, automation because this is very very important automation for you guys uh, the, for the developers if you know this uh, website automation then definitely you can cover all the automation in your company so which is very standard website we have developed now this is the real time scenario if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you and if you have any question like this please comment on the youtube or you can reach out to me by the whatsapp or telegram or the mail so definitely i will try to help you out uh, in these scenarios or interview questions or any concept if you don't know okay thank you very much happy learning and happy diwali also thank you very much bye